Is that what it, I think it is? Oh, it's a black rhino, guys. This is really exciting. This is one of the rarest animals in the world. There are less than three and a half thousand left in the wild. And it is a black rhino. I know it is quite dark. Let me see if we can see him there. There we go. Hello, Mr. Rhino. Now, this is the young male. I've seen him around here quite a bit. I'm just going to help Manu a little bit. and just put the light a little bit closer to him. There we go. Hello, big boy. Oh, little boy, actually. He's quite young. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Now, they can be quite grumpy and quite dangerous, so you got to be careful around them. And uh, with this very, very strong wind that's blowing, and the wind is going from him to me, so he might get a little bit upset. Um, so I'm just going to keep my distance from him. And I say we're not using the lights too much. Um, there we go. We're going to go into infrared instead. So those of you wondering, we're using special infrared lights um, that enable us to see in the dark. Isn't that cool? That's another one of the special toys we have. Hi, Nolan. Nolan would like to know what do rhinos eat? Now, Nolan, the black rhino is a browser. And what that means is he, oh, I know this one, it's got no tail. I've seen this one quite a few times before. Um, it eats leaves and branches, Nolan. But um, there's another type of rhino called a white rhino, and it only eats grass. Now, they're not really black or white. So there was a lot of confusion, um, and that's how they got their names, and I'm gonna tell you how now. Um, so the proper name for a black rhino is a hooked lip rhino. So he uses his hooked lip to break off branches and, and grab leaves. Um, and a white rhino's got a very wide, flat mouth that he uses for grazing. So, oh, the rhino's running away. There we go, he's suddenly heard, he will smelt us, he's decided, He's out of here. Bye. Doof, doof, doof. But so, what happened is, when the first European settlers, um, or the first Dutch settlers arrived in Cape, in the Cape in South Africa, there were black and white rhinos there. But they spoke Dutch, they were from from Holland, and they called a black rhino, well, they called the white rhino, there were no black rhino around the Cape, a Veit Mont Renoster, which means a wide, wide-mouthed rhino. Now, when the English came next after the, after the Dutch, they went, well, what is that called, you know? And they went, it's a Veit Mont Renoster, and Veit and Vit. Vit is white, Veit is wide in Dutch, and uh, they, they got confused and they thought they meant it was a white rhino. So these ones unluckily just became black rhino because the other ones got misnamed white rhino. But we are going to keep seeing if we can find any kitty cats or hyenas. But while we do that, Jamie has got a super moon to show you.